In this video, we are going to update uh, Sony Xperia E with Android 4.1 Jelly Bean update. Sony Xperia E features a 3.5 inch touchscreen with uh, 1 GHz processor and 512 MB of internal physical memory. Right now, the Android version on this device is 4.0.0. And this might be the first entry level phone which got uh, 4.1 Jelly Bean update. We'll run the update and we'll check out uh, the output of this device. For running the update on uh, Xperia E 4.1 Jelly Bean update on Xperia E, you will need Sony PC Companion, which is the PC suite software for this device. You have to connect the original Sony cable with the device, and you have to run PC Companion. Now we are going to run an update uh, through Sony PC Companion. Once the device is connected, you can see it is detected on the top side. You can download Companion from official website, and this is the update notification. Just click on it. Click on update. This is a tiny 2 MB download, which is a kind of a web installer which will initiate the update for the mobile phone it, it is downloaded in the support zone section it is a 2 MB file just wait for some time once the download is completed here the setup is over and this is the next screen where it will show you what all things will be happen after the download first the personal data will not be deleted the estimated time it depends on 30, 30 minutes for depending on your internet connection and this is the tablet software version, the phone tablet software version which is the current PC companion edition. You just have to read this instruction for some time and you can click on accept after that. Now the download process has started. Uh, till this time you do not need to connect the mobile phone to the PC. The PC companion software will tell you when you have to connect your device and we, how, you, how it should be turned on in order to run the update. So this is just the downloading process here and depending on your internet speed this process can take from 30 minutes to 50 minutes even higher download uh, process is almost over now this will detect your phone device these are the important restrictions that you have to take care before going for the update first you have to disconnect the usb cable from the device and also from the pc uh, next you have to think uh, you have to see that your phone must have at least 50 percent of the battery or else there can be uh, major issue with the device if the update is stopped in between third thing you have to do you have to turn off the mobile device and wait for some time later on you have to connect uh, the USB cable first to the PC and then you have to connect it to the mobile device and do not forget to press the volume down key before connecting the micro USB cable to the mobile device and wait for some time. Once it is properly connected and detected in the PC you will get a small driver installation utility on the screen. It will install SEMC flash device in your system and uh, later on the update will be copied to the mobile mobile's internal memory. Now you can see here the updating process is almost complete. We will have to turn on the device after that and we will check out what new things this new update has added in the mobile phone. The new update offers more performance to the device. You can see the output is more improved compared to the older, older one. This is my personal experience because I am using the device from last week and I found that uh, the older 4.0.04 edition was a bit slow on this device and the new one is much better while there are no additional features added in the device. That's all for now. For more review, tutorial, news and updates on latest technology, visit techrena.in. Thank you. Have a nice day.